In my video on using PowerPoint's presenter view with one screen in Zoom, I show you the technique of sharing a portion of your screen. So your audience sees your slides, but you see presenter view with all your notes and the upcoming builds or slides. One of the concerns people have raised is, how do I smoothly move from gallery view in Zoom, where I, I see all the participants, into that presenter view because when you share a portion of your screen, Zoom starts immediately sharing whatever portion of the screen the default window is on. And you may not want people to see everything that way on your screen and then they see you adjust it. Is there a smooth way to do that? Well, yes, there is. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So we're gonna to go to a PowerPoint slide and see uh, here the list of the steps that you wanna follow. So if you wanna read them, of course, you can pause this video. And I'm going to walk you through it with this particular presentation. So I already have the Zoom uh, meeting running, so you're, you're going to have the Zoom meeting running. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to set it up so that we put the first slide on the screen, lock it for the attendees, and then we can go and share presenter view the way we want. So here's how we're going to do that. I'm going to go into slideshow mode from my first slide, so I'm just going to press F5 on my keyboard here. I'll go into slideshow mode. And now what I want to do is I need to get back to the Zoom controls because they are uh, right now behind the slideshow. So I'm going to use Alt-Tab in Windows. It's Command-Tab on a Mac. So I'll go back to my Zoom controls. And now I'm going to start sharing. And I'm going to share my screen. So I'm going to share the whole screen because that's got the full slide on it. And I'll click on Share. And you'll notice the audience is now seeing the full slide. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the Zoom controls and I'm going to click this button, pause, share. You notice the shortcut key there, Alt-T. Now what it's done is it's locked this on the attendee's screen. So I'm going to exit out of slideshow mode here. But you'll notice the attendees are still seeing that slide because that's what Zoom has locked onto their screen. Now what I can do is I can say, okay, I want to bring up presenter view. So two ways to do this. Um, you can, uh, in Windows, it's Alt F5. On a Mac, it's Option Return. So I'm going to use Alt F5, and I'm going to bring up now presenter view. So I have my presenter view. Now what I want to do is I want to adjust. Maybe this slide's a little too big. My notes here, I don't have any on this particular slide, but your notes would show there. You can control the font size, how big this next uh, slide is. So you get that looking the way you want. And then you go up into the Zoom controls and you say New Share. In New Share, we're going to go to the Advanced section and we're going to say Portion of the Screen. And when I click Share, it gives me the default boundary of what it's sharing. Now, obviously, in my case, it's too big. It could be too small in your case. So I'm going to use my corner drag here to move it around the slide. That's what I would like. So now that I've got that adjusted as to what I want to share, you notice it's still paused. So the attendees are still seeing this slide as it was in my first uh, view of it when I had it in full screen slideshow mode. Now I'm going to go up and I'm going to say resume share. And when I resume sharing, now you'll notice what's happened is sometimes it will adjust the boundary box. Uh, I find it gets it a little smaller, so sometimes you have to just quickly adjust it. So the attendees might notice that, they might not, but now I am using full presenter view. So I have all the tools that I want. I can go backwards or forwards in the slides with my arrows. I can use uh, any of the, the tools here for pens or laser pointers. So if I want to use the laser pointer, I can use that and people see it on the screen. I can use uh, the highlighter if I wanted to highlight, you know, this text here can use that and people see it on the screen. And so what that does is it allows you to have this smooth transition from the gallery view into this view here where you are using presenter view only on one screen. The audience is seeing your slides only, but you can see your slide, the next slide, the build, and your notes. And, so and then when you're done, of course, you can uh, simply stop sharing so the audience doesn't see your screen anymore. And then you go back to PowerPoint and uh, get out of 
um, slide chamber. Now you can, again, if you've inked, you can keep or discard it. I'm just going to discard it now. So that's how you can smoothly transition from the gallery view to using PowerPoint's presenter view in Zoom if you have just one screen and the audience has a very clean view of your presentation from the first slide and they don't really even know that you have switched now into presenter view. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.